This is a subject I proudly picked. Cause marketing. Mm -hmm. Combining selling of products with like things that people like. Like Ben and Jerry's always did it. They, yeah. I don't know what their causes are. Now, Mrs. Fields is involved in stuff. I think there's like Victoria's Secret is doing Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I don't know. But something like that is happening. What do you guys think about this? Uh, is this cynical or is it a positive way to equally distribute the wealth, Mark? Well, at least it's sort of, you know, subverting the cause, you know, underneath the product. At least it's not like right to life cereal. You, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, <laughs> but, <laughs> but I, I think that ultimately what, what happens is leave it to Americans to, you know, make people feel better about what they're doing by buying things. You know, I think it's only going to let people rationalize their behavior. Like you see the obese guy knocking back a second pint of chunky monkey saying, hey, it's for a good cause. You know what I mean? <laughs> And then he gets diabetes, they cut his fingers off, and the Domino Sugar Fund pays for it to get the surgery. Oh. See, and the guilt just keeps trickling up until it's, Satan goes, oh. you lose! You see, that's, <laughs> do any of you right. guys actually, does a cause ever make you buy something or not buy? And I'm a big Ben and Jerry's eater. And I eat it not because they're against bovine growth hormones, but because they have big chunks of stuff in it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, yeah. if Ted Nugent had ice cream with big chunks of stuff in it, I'd eat his ice cream. Would you really? Yeah. You I mean, eat politically, Ted I don't chunks? care. I yeah. just like the big it, it can, yeah, go ahead. No, not for not. Maybe you ought to switch to like a low fat yogurt. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, as, as somebody who cares about your heart. Man, I like, I only eat half because Jerry's a jerk. Off. Jerry's, yeah. <laughs> Jerry's a I don't know how, it. but yeah. Well, you know, this whole thing is sort of like, uh, it, it's like Indian casinos, you know, it's the same sort of idea. Because, like, you know, I don't gamble Wait, much, how but I'll, I'll tell you how it's like okay. that. I'll gamble at an Indian casino. <laughs> I'll tell you, because it's like a cause. I'll gamble at an Indian casino. Because, you know, yeah. when you lose, you feel like you're helping. You know, <laughs> That's why I get Indian hookers. Yeah, yeah see? <laughs> see? They you're got that the $20 foot from Manhattan back and the first two hands of pie got poker. Yeah. <laughs> Enough. Uh, yeah, no, I think uh, whatever <laughs> good. Yeah. What is Mrs. Fields helping? She's what helping a lot of good causes. You don't have to be that's sarcastic that's about all. Mrs. Fields. <laughs> sorry. I forget. I, I read the thing, but I forgot what it said. That would be good if they, if they could just say that. that. Just, yeah. It's good causes. Just go she, ahead and eat she, it. She has like, what is it? What specifically? It's just good. Don't worry. No, she's giving millions and millions of dollars. To somebody. To homeless AIDS victims. Is that right? To no, I don't know, but something good. I won't, <laughs> homeless I won't buy cigarettes because of their affiliation with death. You know, I won't buy them. <laughs> But death could be a good cause. We're going to talk about it in the next act. He segued. Yeah. It's the first time I ever made a segue that was almost like semi-intelligent. No, but then right. he threw it away by out. mentioning that it was No, no, I think that enhanced it. What is it? Uh, we'll be right back. How's that for a cool ending?